Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up the Ricoh SG3110 as a sublimation printer on your Windows computer. For this example, I'm going to be using Windows 8 64 bit. The first thing you're going to need is the ICC profile. We'll, have, we'll email this to you as an attached file to an email. If you do not have this email, just simply send us an email to support at condi.com or you can call us at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, for the first available tag. Once you have this email, you want to download the attached file to your desktop. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and download the drivers. So we'll click on the link. It says click here. And then we're going to log into PartnerNet. And you're going to put in your PartnerNet information and click log in. And then once you're here, we're going to click on Printer Support, Rico Printers, 3110, PC Drivers. And since we have a 64-bit system, I want the 64-bit driver. It is important that you match the driver with the architecture of your computer. So if you have a 32-bit, download the 32-bit driver. Now I already have these files downloaded for speed purposes. This is the ICC, this is the driver. First we want to install the ICC profile. I'll right click on the ICC and hit install profile. Now if you don't have that option, just open your file browser, go to your C drive, Windows, then system 32, and then spool as in a spool of thread, and then drivers and color and just copy that ICM file into this folder. Now once, you have, once you've done that, we're ready to move to the printer. On the printer, you want to go ahead and install any accessories that you may have, a bypass tray or extra paper trays. Um, once you have that done, go ahead and put the ink cartridges into the printer and connect the printer to power, but not to your computer. Um, once you have the power connected, you want to turn the printer on. It's going to take about five or 10 minutes to load inks. Once your printer comes to ready, we're going to run the driver file. Uh, now you normally won't see this screen. This is because I've actually already installed this printer on this computer before. But if you do see it, just select yes to all. All right, and then we're going to have a license agreement. You'll accept the agreement and hit next. We want to add a new printer, so make sure that is selected and hit next and we're going to connect with USB cable so make sure that is connected and hit next then it's going to tell you or ask you which printer you're installing we're installing the first RICO in the list or the one that just says DN at the end of the model number and hit next and then it's going to tell you to um, turn your printer off basically just ignore this message and hit next then it's going to copy files Now when it finished copying files, it's going to put up an auto detect screen. When you see this screen, you want to connect the USB cable from your printer to your computer. Now this will take a few minutes sometimes, so just bear with it. Alright, eventually it will ask if you want to use this printer as your default printer. I do recommend that we hit no, and then it's going to ask for status monitor settings. Just hit next here. Then it's going to ask about installed options. I'm going to select do not set now and then we'll have a finish screen. Alright, once you have that done, your printer is installed and ready to go. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to open our devices and printers. We're going to come down and we're going to find the RICO in the list. The RICO 
SG3110DN. I'm going to right click and go to Printer Properties. I'm going to come to the Advanced tab and start printing after last page is spooled. Hit Apply. And then I'm going to come over to Color Management. I'm going to click on Color Management. And then I'm going to select the printer in the list at the top. Rico SG3110. I'm going to check Use My Settings. And then I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to look for our ICC profile. Now, in the list, it's going to be listed as SG, SG3110DN, RGB, SJR, version 1.0. I'm going to select that and hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Close and OK. All right, next, we want to right click on the printer again, and this time go to Printing Preferences. From Basic Settings, I'm going to change my print quality to User Settings. I'm going to set the paper type to inkjet plain paper and then I'm going to come over to the detailed settings tab under edit I'm going to select printable area to maximum and then in the menu at the top I'm going to scroll over and select print quality I want to verify we're on normal and standard and I'm going to change the dithering to use air diffusion auto image Next in the driver we're going to set color profile to off and then we're going to set gray reproduction to CMY plus K and then I'm going to scroll down and find resolution. We want to set resolution to 600 DPI and vector raster we want to set to raster. And Then I'm going to click on register current settings and I'm going to name this Condi ICC Letter. All right, and I'm going to go back to the one click preset list. I named this letter because we're actually set it for letter size paper. You can change your paper size. We'll change it here to legal. And I'm going to register current settings again and name this Condi ICC Legal. Now by doing this I've created two presets, one for letter and one for legal size paper. You'll select whichever, one, whichever you want to use as your default paper size and just simply click OK. At this point your printer is installed and configured. The only thing left to do is configure whichever software you're going to be printing from. Uh, there will be a video on that on condytv.com or you can call us at support or at 1-800-826-6332 option 2 um, or you can send us an email to support at condi.com with any questions you may have or any problems you run into. Thank you. Have a great day.